So I'm sure users are already familiar with how you're able in hard ops to press Q, go to mesh tools and choose dice and use the dice system in order to perform loop cuts on non loop cuttable meshes. However, in box cutter, we also want to add dice to lexicon by allowing users to be able to draw boxes, press control X to change it to a knife, press shift G in order to make it a grid. And from here, you're able to go in the helper at any time to adjust the amount of segments that are present. And you're also able to freely rotate it, even holding shift to override the rotation. And then pressing spacebar, we are able to basically perform a dice using the grid form of box. However, we also want to be able to do it with the static grid. So if we switch our grid over to being static and actually enable grid, whenever we hold control, we're actually drawing out a grid. So before doing this, I'll go under operations and we'll just clean the mesh just to get optimal geometry. And we'll just draw out a grid. And of course, during static grid, you can shift scroll during this grid state in order to add subdivisions. However, let's press escape and talk about grid again. So normally, whenever you first bring grid out, the border is white, meaning that whenever you let go of control, the grid will go away. However, if you right click and drag, you can actually bring the grid out, which will actually set it up in an auto pause state. And you can even scroll holding shift and rolling the wheel in order to add additional subdivisions. But one of the things that we also added was the ability for users to press shift K in order to perform a knife cut operation that will use the grid in order to dice into the mesh. So just a weird little feature, but still one of those things that was just on to-do list and I'm glad to see that static grid is able to perform knife projection.